5.2c, area, volume, and temperature, area of trapezoids. The area of the trapezoid can be found by the formula area equals one-half the height times A plus B. A and B are the bases, and these bases must be parallel. The thing to keep in mind is that a trapezoid looks somewhat like a parallelogram, except for that only two of the sides are parallel. And these two sides are labeled A and B. The other important fact is that the height will connect the two bases, which means that we must have a height that connects these two bases and that this height, once again, will meet the base at a perfect right angle, just as it did in the last examples. Let's look at an example of finding the area of a trapezoid. Example one shows a trapezoid with all of the sides labeled. We know that we will be using the formula A equals one-half height A plus B. We first must identify where the height is, and therefore it will help us identify the A and the B. As you can see, the height is labeled as four centimeters because it is at a right angle to the bases. This means that our two bases are the 12 and the 6. It does not matter which one you label A or B. We can now fill in our formula, and we have area equals one-half the height, which is four, times A, which is 12, plus B, which is six. It is sometimes important to remember that there are units listed in here. And in leaving them out, it may look like the math is easier, but you may end up with the wrong units. So it is very important to always write your units. In this case, we should be writing one half times four centimeters times 12 centimeters plus six centimeters. This can help ensure that we will use the correct units in the answer. 12 centimeters plus 6 centimeters is our first step if we are following the order of operations. This means that we have 18 centimeters by combining like terms. Everything else is brought down. We can now multiply these two together. I like to leave the fraction until the end. Therefore, I have one-half times 72 centimeters squared. I can now take 72 and divide it by 2, which will result in the answer of 36 centimeters squared. We will now look at example 2, in which we find the area of another trapezoid. Remember, with trapezoids, Two sides are parallel and the other two are not. Also, the two sides that are parallel must have a height in between them that meets at a right angle. As you can see, the height is not inside of this shape, but happens to be one of the sides. We now can label all of the parts, with the four inches being the height, two inches being one of the bases, and the nine inches being the second base. We can now use the formula area equals one half the height times the A plus the B, which results in one half the height being four inches times the first base of two inches plus nine inches. We can now start by doing what is inside the parentheses by combining like terms, and we get 11 inches. 
Everything else comes down as it has not been done. We now get one half times forty four inches squared. We can now take forty four and divide it by the two to give us twenty two inches squared as our final area. Remember when finding area of trapezoids that the two bases must be parallel and that there must be a height that connects these two bases at a ninety degree or right angle.